Six months ago, this orphanage in South Africa looked like this. And despite having saved more than 5,000 children's lives over time, it was about to get shut down. When hearing about this, we made it our mission to ensure this doesn't happen by rebuilding 12 new homes with an ongoing supply of fresh food as well as a brand new playground. This is Mama Rosie, who started the Bapuma Lele Orphanage 30 years ago after a baby was abandoned on her doorstep. Mama Rosie is an absolutely incredible person, but as hard as she's fought, as much as she's given, these kids were about to lose the only family, the only place they've ever known as home. To ensure this does not happen, we spent the last six months working tirelessly so that these kids have a safe and clean environment to live in. We also made sure that Mama Rosie had seen none of the renovations before surprising her. This is gonna be awesome. Mama Rosie, you promised me you haven't seen anything yet? Yes, I haven't seen anything. Are you ready? Ready, ready, ready. Let's take this off. Surprising the kids that lived in the orphanage with their brand new home, we had to find someone that Mama Rosie held very dear to her heart. The last time we were here, Mama Rosie told us about a young boy named Yam Kayla who left the orphanage 14 years ago with the dream of becoming a musician. So Darren and Dan, a filmmaker and musician from Cape Town, tracked him down to be a part of the big reveal. They then took Yam Kayla to see his old bedroom that has been completely rebuilt. After months and months of grueling labor, it was finally time to surprise the kids. The kids are all lining up outside right now and we're about to bring them in and show them their brand new homes for the very first time. Thank you so much for bringing dignity to these children because it has boosted their self-esteem. They live in a better, better place. We wanted to find out more about Yam Kela and his life outside the orphanage, as well as offer him the opportunity of a lifetime to inspire orphans all around the world. Oh, come, I want to show you something. <laughs> Yes, remember the guitar you used to play on under that tree across the road? Sometimes I even dream about this place. This is where my roots are. In order for Yam Kela to make a living, he had to become a cleaner at the airport, leaving him hardly any time to practice his music and harness his talent. It kills me knowing that I'm doing something that I'm not into, and there is something that I want to do that I really love, but I cannot do it. In Yamkele, I see this deep need to want to express himself through the art form of music, yet he doesn't really have any tools to be able to do so. So we decided to surprise Yam Kayla with a top of the range professional acoustic guitar. But the best part is we're going to be enrolling Yam Kayla in one of the best music schools in South Africa and paying all his living expenses for the entire year. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you so much. All the music you've heard so far in this video has been made in collaboration with Yam Kayla. And while they continue to make music, I want to tell you guys about our incredible long-term partner, the sponsor of this video, Electric E-Bikes. 
This orphanage build ended up costing a lot more than we thought it was going to, and Electric E-Bike stepped up to the plate by providing the additional funding to help us finish it. So, if you don't know what Electric E-Bikes are and what they do, they're on a mission to change people's lives by increasing the mobility while being energy efficient. One example of them doing this is our last video where we gave away a thousand e-bikes to people around the world, including Kenya, to help them more efficiently transport water. So do me a favor and click the link in the description below and purchase an electric e-bike from them because by doing that, you'll help them make money so they can continue to support these projects. And it's a beautiful cycle I'd love to keep going. Thank you, Electric E-Bikes, for sponsoring the video. Let's get back to it. And we threw one final celebration for the orphanage by getting Yam Kala to perform a few of his original songs. Pumelele will continue doing what we are doing, saving lives. Thank you so much. It is now time for Yam Kela to start his musical journey. We are so excited to see what he can do, and we will keep you constantly updated on his progress throughout the year. See you in a year. And I want to say a special thank you to Checker6060 for sending motorbikes in a literal truck full of food to the orphanage. Thank you so much. And I also want to shout out Yum Yum, Sunbank, Rama, Do More, and RCL Foods for also committing to feed the orphanage for an additional year. But despite everything we've done, Mama Rose and the orphans still need more help. So if you're able, click the link in the description or the donate button below this video and just give whatever you can. And just by watching these videos, you are literally changing lives. So thank you. Subscribe. Yeah.